Hello everyone. In this INR number 92, we are going to discuss about a important PYQ, which is cardiac auscultation, right? So what are the areas we are going to do cardiac auscultation? We can remember this by a mnemonic. So auscultation of the heart, you have to remember, remember where to listen all these murmurs is remembered as a apt M, right? So what is apt M? A for aortic area, P for pulmonic area, right? T for tricuspid area and M is for mitral area. So these are the four important areas where we are hearing the murmurs, right? So which we remember by a mnemonic called as apt M, right? So we will see one by one what are these areas and then we will discuss about what are the murmur we are going to hear. So aortic area is a second intercostal space where on the right side. So remember this is the right side first and second. So this is the second intercostal space which is the aortic area right so it will be which will be present on the right side of the sternal border so this is the right side of the sternal border so second intercostal space right side of the sternal border this is the aortic area right where is the pulmonary area see aortic and pulmonary they are opposite to each other aortic is second intercostal space right side of the sternal border pulmonic will be second intercostal space left side of the sternal border so now you can see first and second so this is also second intercostal space left to the sternal border right what is erbs point this is the point which we should remember that erbs point is the third intercostal space left to the sternal border so that is what we are seeing left side and one two and three this is the third intercostal space which is called as erbs point right tricuspid point where is the tricuspid point tricuspid point is the fifth intercostal space in the lower left sternal border right so it is again left side so we can see left side what are the important thing pulmonary area there is herbs point there is a tricuspid tricuspid is on fifth intercostal space and mitral area see mitral and tricuspid both are on fifth intercostal space what is the difference tricuspid is just near to the left sternal border in the fifth intercostal space whereas mitral area which is also called as apex or point of maximum impulse remember pmi is a point of maximum impulse so apex or point of maximum impulse is present in the fifth intercostal space at mid clavicular line right so this is mcl is mid clavicular line so now you can see this is the clavicle and mid clavicular line is going like this this is the mid clavicular line so we we are seeing the mitral area is present in the mid clavicular line so this is what we have to remember right so now we understood these five important areas so what are the murmur we are going to see in the aortic area right so aortic area you will see systolic murmur right what are the systolic murmur we will see in the aortic area aortic stenosis flow murmur which we see in the physiological conditions and aortic valve stenosis or sclerosis hardening so stenosis sclerosis of the aortic valve and flow uh, murmur they are heard in the aortic area right so aortic area systolic murmur pulmonic area also you will have a systolic murmur so this is again systolic ejection murmur so what are the uh, systolic ejection murmur we are going to hear in the pulmonic area so you will see a pulmonic stenosis atrial septal defect and flow murmur is here also right so basically we have to remember these two important things pulmonic stenosis and atrial septal defect so asd and pulmonary stenosis these are the areas uh, these are the murmurs which we will hear in the pulmonic areas right in tricuspid area which is the fifth intercostal space near to the left sternal border what we are going to hear we are going to hear holosystolic murmur and diastolic both kind of murmur so in holosystolic murmur we will see tricuspid regurgitation and vsd right so tricuspid regurgitation and vsd they will be having holosystolic murmur and diastolic murmur which will be seen in the tricuspid stenosis right so these are the things which we will hear in the tricuspid area right now come to the mitral area mitral area we are going to hear three kind of murmur holosystolic systolic and diastolic murmur so what are the holosystolic murmur in the mitral area so mitral area we will hear mitral regurgitation right and uh systolic murmur if you look for that will be mitral wall prolapse and diastolic murmur will be seen in the mitral stenosis i will i will discuss detail of these murmur in the next video so don't worry about that just now we have to focus which area what kind of murmur we are going to hear so mitral area holosystolic murmur of the mitral regurgitation systolic murmur is seen in mitral wall prolapse and a diastolic murmur of mitral stenosis all these are in mitral area so what are the herbs point 
in Erb's point, which is the third intercostal space, which is uh, left side of the sternal border, that will be having diastolic and systolic both kind of murmur. So what are the diastolic murmur? Aortic regurgitation, right? Which is the valvular aortic regurgitation and pulmonic regurgitation. So AR, PR, both will be seen in the Erb's point, which will be having diastolic murmur. Systolic murmur, you will see here, one of the very important murmur, which examiner asked in exam, is the hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. So HOCM will be having Erb's point. So you will hear this area, you will be hearing the HOCM murmur, which will be a systolic murmur. So these are the cardiac auscultation areas, which we remember by the mnemonic apt M, right? And we will remember all these murmurs, which are heard in this. So examiner usually shows these areas and they will ask you what are these areas and what kind of murmur you are going to hear, right? So keep revising this. You will remember this. Best wishes for your exams.